in the making. Indeed, leaders are not born, they are made. They do not set out to be leaders, but become one by virtue of the quality of their actions, the integrity of their intent, and the standards of character they set for themselves. Leadership is a quality which is nurtured and has its seeds sown in childhood itself. At DPS Sushant Lok, that potential is tagged early and honed thereafter to bring out the best in each student so that they too can be great leaders of tomorrow. And the investiture ceremony of DPS Sushant Lok is a celebration of our young leaders of today. Good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen. I, Gargi Tripathi. And I, Priyas Gupta, welcome you all to the school's 15th investiture ceremony for the newly elected Student Council of Session 2021-22, which will be virtual due to the ongoing pandemic. On this momentous occasion, we honor students who have the potential and the propensity to put others before themselves and be leaders among men. These are some of the best, the brightest and the noblest amongst us who epitomize the ethos and values that DPS Sushan Lok stands for and uphold the promise of carrying forward beyond the portals of their alma mater. The legacy of excellence and service. School leaders today and leaders of society tomorrow. Light is an illuminating force that brings prosperity, auspiciousness, good health and abundance. Let us invoke Goddess Saraswati by lighting the lamp of knowledge and wisdom to seek special blessings today. Deepa Jyoti Param Jyoti Deepa Jyotir Janardanaha Deepo Haratumi Papam Deepa Jyotir Namostute Shubham Karotu Kalyanam Arogyam Sukha Sampadam Dvesha Buddhi Vinashaya Atma Jyote Namostute Atma Jyoti Hi Pradeeptaya Brahma Jyote Namostute Brahma Jyoti Pradeeptaya Guru Jyote Namostute And now, moving on, first and foremost, may we have the privilege in requesting Ms. Vinakshi Singh Pathania, the Pro Vice Chairperson, DPS Sushantu, to extend her congratulatory message to enlighten the young leaders of the school. Dear members of the Student Council, please accept my heartiest congratulations on your appointment. Notwithstanding the pandemic, we have organized this virtual ceremony because there was no way we could have deprived you of garnering special memories of events that mean so much to you. My heart swells with pride 
to see all you promising youngsters gathered under the banner of our school looking resplendent in the afterglow of success. This indeed is your moment. Seize it. Enjoy all the adulation and attention coming your way for you have earned it. That being said, don't lose sight of the work that awaits you. Since you will go on to inspire your juniors to be in your shoes someday in the same way as your seniors had inspired you to be here today, you must conduct yourselves with utmost propriety and responsibility. Exemplifying the spirit of service before self, both in thought and deed, continue to lead your school to glory. To those who couldn't make it this time, I would say, stay strong, believe in yourself and never give up. Success is merely a byproduct of sincere efforts. Continue to prepare and polish yourselves because it is just a matter of time when success will be yours. Finally, to all my dear, dear students, I would say that each one of you is extremely special with boundless potential. And before you claim your rightful place in the sun, which I'm sure you will, don't forget to enjoy this golden period of life at school with all its sweet and savory experiences. God bless you always. Thank you, ma'am, for your pearls of wisdom. Minakshi ma'am has always been our source of inspiration and encouragement. Thank you once again, ma'am. Music is the universal language of mankind. Where words fail, music speaks. And to match the spirit of today's ceremony, we have an instrumental performance specially curated by our school orchestra. Let us all rejoice this moment with the fusion between the evergreen foot tapping numbers, Sweet Child of Mine and Eye of the Tiger. The resonating, thrilling beats merged with the ecstatic spirits of the student council members will leave you all captivated. So let us all enjoy together.
that was indeed exhilarating. And now comes the moment that we've all been waiting for. It is time to welcome our newly appointed student council. Let us all celebrate and applaud their special moment. These students have earned their place today after a rigorous selection process based not only on their academic and co-curricular achievements, but also for their attitude, conduct and values exhibited throughout the year. But as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. We take this moment to remind them that with their new roles and titles, they beget new responsibilities to fulfill the collective aspirations of the school. Leadership is not just about a title or designation, but about impact, influence and inspiration. This role would not only contribute towards the overall enhancement of the institution, but also prepare our star blazers to climb the ladder of personal growth and development. Nothing succeeds like success. It is time now to meet our role models, the students who represent the student body. It wouldn't be wrong to call them ambassadors of the school. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, let us meet the members designate of the student council. Let us turn the arc lights on them. Coming up first, the head boy, D.P. Sushantlu, session 21-22, Dhruv Wali, a high academic achievement. Dhruv is dynamic, and multi-talented. He has won several accolades for the school. The head girl, session 21-22, Rhea Mathur. Rhea is an all-rounder and her excellent oratory skills and charismatic aura have enabled her to attain respect from her peers and reach greater heights. Vice head boy, Priyas Gupta. White head girl, Ishani Kapoor. Sports captain, Utkrisht Kumra. Sports vice captain, Vasu Goyal. President, Cultural Committee, Kirtana Singh Chadha. Secretary, Cultural Committee, Sriman Shukla. Members, Cultural Committee, Om Aditya Pandey, Samragi Singh, Bhumika Anand Rao, and Anushka Tyagi. President, Environmental Committee, Aditya Roy, Secretary, Environmental Committee, Devanj Khandelwal. Members, Environmental Committee, Nandini Srivastav, Sashwat Dhanuka, Nandini Sharma, and Riddhi Bhatnagar. President, Regulatory Committee, Tishya Mishra. Secretary, Regulatory Committee, Ashman Sharma. Members, Regulatory Committee, Yashika Diora, Kajal Pahil, Nitya Chauhan, Saksham Suneja, Kostav Gal, Athar Singh, Nihar Bhatt, Arya Agarwal, Simran Kapoor, and Diya Dabas. President Editorial Book, Arushi Jung. Secretary, Editorial Board, Sandi Arora. Members, Editorial Board, Kumar Shresh Shukla, Ahona Datta, 
Ananya P. Mani, Yamini Singh, Pavni Kumar, Atrai Bakchi, and Suvriddhi Jain. President, Social Service Committee, Prachita Srivastav. Secretary, Social Service Committee, Krish Ruparil. Members, Social Service Committee, Shivan Mathur, Sia Sharma, Utkarsh Priyadarshi, Anima Alubalia, Anya Seth, and Nishita Popli. President, Encrypt, Bhuvan Yadav. Vice President, Encrypt, Aditya Dev. Secretary, Encrypt, Yash Hajela. And now, we move on to the various House Captains and Vice House Captains. Chenab House Captain, Bharat Sharma. Vice House Captain, Torvi Ahuja. Chenab House Prefects, Agamya Bhakuni. Sia Kapoor. Shenjin Singh, Priyanshi Yadav, Parshav Jain, and Arush Kumar Ekar. Ganges House Captain, Ayush Dikshit, Vice House Captain, Yashika Bhatla, Ganges House Prefect, Nandini Pathania, Anya Gar. Divya Singh, Devansh Bhutani, Aditya Bhattacharji, Guru Mehar Siddha. Jainam House Captain, Arnav Kadyan, Vice House Captain, Meher Singh, Jainam House Prefects, Aditi Singh, Purvi Munjal, Aheli Goswami, Kushagra Agarwal, Vama Mehra, and Yuvanshi Devan. Ravi House Captain, Vidushi Jain. Vice House Captain, Parth Merotra. Ravi House Prefects, Tisha Yadav, Suhani Sagar, Prisha Avasthi. Nakshatra Kumar, Lavanya Sharma, and Sanvi Arora. Satluj House Captain, Kashvi Dutt. Vice House Captain, Anya Makija. Satluj House Prefects, Vaishnavi Ranjan, Kritika Sinha, Rudraksh Shivastav. Ishita Ruparil, Chavi Malik, and Yuvakshi Dam. Yamuna House Captain, Arivir Ralhan. Vice House Captain, Meher Narayan Thakur. Yamuna House Prefects, Prachet Srivastav, Yovik Rao, Arnav Chaudhary. Shreesh Sharma, Keshav Rao, and Guranshi. Congratulations to the student council members who have now been officially introduced and are all set to discharge their duties with vim and vigor. Ladies and gentlemen, you will now witness administering of the oath of office by the head girl, Ria Mathur, to all the members of the Student Council, 2021-22. We, the members of the Student Council, do solemnly pledge that we shall discharge the responsibilities entrusted to us to the best of our ability. We shall endeavor to work with sincerity and dedication 
to uphold the rights and values of our school. We pledge to lead by example to bring honor and glory to our school. Many congratulations to the student council members who are now officially inducted. May your oaths remain binding and strong. Moving forward, may we now request our stalwart principal, Mr. Surender Pal Sajdeva, a forward-thinking educator, a school administrator par excellence, with a vast experience of more than 27 years, who served as the principal of DPS Ahmedabad and DPS Indore before joining DPS Ashant Lok. to have a brief interaction with the core council of the student body dear friends momentous occasion for all of us the name is invest teacher ceremony and i always believe that invest teacher is something like investing in our young kids this time is very very exciting reason being that student council meeting is happening online right generally uh, kids are expected to come to school and interact and take the oath and take the badges from the principal or maybe from the chief guest but this time we are just talking we are so today i am leading myself a group of very very enthusiastic overwhelmed young boys and girls who have taken up the duty to lead the school i use the word duty to lead the school right i must congratulate all of you because you have chosen this path and i must at the same time congratulate all the parents who have trained you in a way that you came forward to take the responsibilities so dear kids i would like to speak to you for a couple of minutes to know what are your desire and what and how you want to lead as a leader of this very beautiful school delhi public school shishantlo so first i would like to go to the designated dhruv wali dhruv please let me know what are your thoughts on students leadership students leadership is in my opinion uh, the future really as students go on to become leaders in the real world and as we will also go on to most probably become leaders in the new world we might be in different branches in life we might go into the corporate world or we might get into social service but this leadership this the leadership qualities that we will nurture through this student council i believe would stay with us for all our lives what do you think that uh, we could have done something different than the way we are doing on virtual platform these days so given the situation pandemic um, i don't think it would have allowed us to do things offline but i think that uh, our teachers the faculty they're doing a wonderful job of uh, you know teaching us online and let me tell you so as a student i am getting the best education available during this time we have our sports captain utkrist kumra the leader is uh, ms dhoni because i think he's a very cool calm composed captain and he knows what he's doing and his decisions are always on point and he's always willing to take accountability for his team and uh, for for our school so i think that so we're doing much better in terms of sports we have very good coaches and we have we have a lot of talent we have a uh, president cultural committee tna yes kirtna i feel that uh, our particular school has a lot of culture in it because it has students participating in so many domains and students a single student participating in various domains so particular student is capable of so much that we need to direct it towards a single point so that there is unity of direction and there should also be unity of command so that we in order to bring up our school are able to collaborate everyone but at the same point achieve our best for what is best for the school 
and environment is the biggest issue at the moment you know the way the governments are fighting they are, they are even competing with each other because uh, growth and uh, exploitation of uh, environment both are you know going together so one side the developed countries like us and china they have exploited a lot india because being a developing country is at the moment struggling to keep the balance between both so i would like to know uh, what are your thoughts aditya roy so it's of course very true that many countries you know, we all exploit the environment in some way or the other not should really focus on how to preserve the environment so we do not in the future have pandemics and other natural calamities earthquakes yeah, tsunamis so this is the outcome of playing with the environment actually, actually. i agree with you right so discipline is the word which has been most misused i would say uh, tisha mishra would agree agree with me because she is president of regulatory committee so what are your views on discipline how discipline can be incorporated yes sir so i believe self discipline is a very important factor for any human to function properly because uh, self discipline really guides you towards the right direction in uh, achieving your goals and you know uh, keeping true to your own uh, ethics and morals and goals so that is very important and i believe dp shashank uh, does a fantastic job in regulating discipline and inculcating discipline in students very good our students are very disciplined but how we communicate with the parents the outside world that is also very very important that is why the importance of editorial board so arushi june um i believe that the editorial board is the word of the council so um to ensure proper communication the editorial board will keep everyone updated on what is going on be it the students or the parents for this we have numerous ideas be it annual newspapers to magazines to um e newsletters president social service committee prachita shrivastava so how you are going yes. to enhance or how you are going to work on this service before self so for me social service is anything that provides service as to assist all the overall social well being of people um social service it's not a competition it's passion and love towards one society and i believe that even a small um, deed of gratitude can be turning point in someone's life so as a uh, as a president of social service a committee is a pride for me and we believe we will be planning in donation drives which is the most important thing be it small donation drives but even small um, step can make a huge change in the society wise head girl as a wise head girl you have to carry forth the baton yeah. which this head boy and this team is going to give it to you right and then you yes. have challenge because you are the only one connect between seniors and juniors because all these boys and girls they are going to leave next year in the month of march and what are the learning is going to happen somebody has to carry it forward so what do you think what should be your role so i feel um, our role would be of course to connect between our seniors and juniors and uh, i think uh, this new normal surely taught us uh, the last year that uh, how we can not consider online as a hindrance to our uh, act, con- conducting activities so i think um, our role would be to motivate our juniors to not hesitate and come in front of us excellent and what about prayas gupta the wise head boy yes sir we are the future leaders of the school because i think that at the same time we also do have some responsibilities but we are here to learn from our seniors because definitely next year we'll be the people who will be there in the main positions thank you so very much this was really wonderful interacting with you thank you sir your blessings to our emerging leaders as they translate the school's vision into reality are truly encouraging your golden words are a great source of inspiration to all of us however this felicitation would be devoid of its true essence unless you address the august gathering so over to you sir for your luminous welcome address 
Good morning, dear parents, teachers, and member of newly elected student council of DPS Shushant Lok. Thank you for joining us and supporting our DIP sites. Your presence today is not only helping us in developing new leadership, but also recognizes the importance of the investiture ceremony. The word investiture comes from the root word invest, which means devoting one's time, effort, or energy to take up a pursuit with the expectation of a worthwhile result. By selecting you as prefect, the school is committed to groom and develop you as a leader. Since we pick our prefects carefully, we trust that our investment yield results that we can all be proud of, and that is having dedicated student leaders who are ready to step up and serve the school in the various capacities and also strong student leaders who set themselves up as outstanding role models for their peers every day. In other words, our prefects would carry a strong sense of purpose as they groom themselves in their leadership qualities. An investiture ceremony in which the school demonstrates how earnest we are in conferring on you a heavy responsibility to lead your peers and serve your schools. And it is not easy to be a student leader. You must know clearly what is expected of you. You must earn the trust and respect of your peers and teachers. You will find yourself needing to judge how best to respond in any given situation. And may you be owner of duty, you must know to behave at your best at all times. Please not. Nobody can be a great leader without going through some struggle. You may make mistakes along the way. The question is, what would you do when you receive some negative feedback? To be a better leader, you must learn to take negative feedback in stride. Reflect on how you could do better and seek to improve yourself as a leader. Let me give you three simple ways in which you can try to improve your leadership qualities. Firstly, be proactive to look out for opportunities every single day in which you can practice being a leader. Secondly, challenge yourself to take even greater initiative to serve your peers and your school. And last, thirdly, dare yourself to communicate effectively and confidently as you can carry out your duties. These are three basic hallmark features of a good leader. It is my sincere hope that you will, as a student leader, break out of your comfort zone and set out to distinguish yourself through these three simple ways on a daily basis. I am certain by the time you graduate from DPS Shushant Lok, you will grow admirably as a leader and will be ready to serve your country. On this note, I like to congratulate you and you venture forth on this journey to learn to develop yourself, keep an open mind to learning. And I will have no doubt that you will find this journey as a rewarding one for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words. We seek your blessings and look forward to your leadership and guidance to accomplish greater success for us. Next, we invite the head boy, Dhruv Bali, to step forward and share his journey in school up till now and his vision for the school during his tenure. So about three to four years ago, as a kid, while I was trying to dunk a basketball, I injured myself quite a lot. Most people who saw me as a battered and bruised kid who kept on trying again and again called me crazy, but my teachers and subsequently the school saw in me something quite different that as a 13 year old, I couldn't see in myself. They saw in me perseverance, one of the most important qualities of a leader, a person who was capable of achieving the greatest feats. And with a few pushes here and there, they set me on a path full of introspection. Today, as I address you all in my capacity, as the head boy of DPS Sushantlok, I feel immensely proud and exhilarated.
There is a saying in my family, life is like a river. In order to move forward, you will have to go with the current. As a child, I couldn't grasp the true meaning of these words and I wish I would have done that sooner. But due to these last two pandemic struck years, I have come to understand and appreciate this saying quite a lot. The pandemic for me not only had losses, but also certain gains. It gave me a lot of time to introspect. It gave me time to work upon myself, to try out a lot of activities in the online sphere and gave me a chance to develop myself in a crisis-laden environment, due to which I can now see the leader within. I have always believed that leaders are not born but created by dint of sheer hard work. And thus, my message to all the council members is that with integrity, insight, inclusiveness and relentless spirit, we together can unlock the hidden treasure of our talents and abilities because a bird sitting on the tree is never afraid of the branch breaking since it reposes its trust not in the branch but in its own wings. DPS Sushantlo is undeniably one of the best schools in the Delhi NCR region and relentless in its pursuit of excellence. As members of the coveted student council, we find an opportunity to become proud bearers of this legacy and to excel in all our endeavors. I solemnly pledge to march ahead together with other committee members in complete unison to do full justice to the school motto, service before self. I am eternally grateful to Principal Sir, Vice Principal Ma'am, all my teachers starting from pre-nursery to the 12th grade for finding me competent enough to shoulder this responsibility. I would also like to thank my family for providing me with a safety net as I reached for the stars and even humbling me at times when I became over ambitious and my friends who have directly or indirectly influenced me and motivated me to go beyond my limits. As I come to a close, I would just like to say that the worst is in the past as we have adapted quite well to this new normal. And I assure you all, the student council will not be dissuaded from doing what it does best, that is, bringing honour to our glorious institution. Thank you. Way to go, Dhruv. Our best wishes for you once again. May we next invite the head girl, Deepa Sushant Lung, session 2021-22, Ria Mathur, to share her affirmations of hope and promise. Good morning, everyone. I feel obliged holding on to this revered position of the head girl of Delhi Public School Sushant Lung for the session 2021-22. This responsibility fills me with immense happiness and gives me a chance to give back to my alma mater in my best capacity. I have been part of the school since nursery and I still remember the shy, timid girl I was. And now, speaking in front of you as the head girl of DPS Sushantlo shows us how this school has recognized every child as a gem and worked to polish it to shine with excellence. I feel enormously benefited from the assiduous management of the school that has molded me and carved in me a tendency to dream big and to realize it into a palpable reality. A wise man once said, to unseal the potential in others is to reveal the leader in you. This quote is something I have always believed in. Therefore. I look forward to be a leader who constantly motivates her team to do better. My vision is to include more experiential lessons in our student council undertakings, which will enhance learning and ensure that every child gets equal opportunities that go beyond academics to discover themselves and pursue their passion. Now is the time to act. Thus, as the head goal, I will work with the entire student body to ensure that we leave a positive mark on the life of our fellow students. As the head girl, I am going to ensure that at the end of the academic year, we are a closer and stronger community working towards issues that are close to our heart. 
I pledge to fulfill the responsibilities bestowed by the school and will always work in collaboration with the DPS Sashantlok family to achieve greater heights. I pledge to work hard with all my devotion, determination and enthusiasm for the betterment of the student community. Today, as I speak before you, I feel honoured by the faith you all have reposed in me. I would like to thank Principal Sir, Vice Principal Ma'am and all my teachers who have shaped me into the individual I am today, who taught me things which go beyond the knowledge any book has to offer. I would also like to thank my family and friends who have always supported and encouraged me to do things that I sometimes thought were too ambitious. To conclude, the Student Council of 2021-22 will stand together no matter what to achieve the collective goals of the school and we will do our best to carry forward the legacy we have inherited from our seniors and make the school proud. Thank you. Thank you, Ria, for that delightful address. May you realize all your aspirations for the school. We are with you. Throughout the academic session, House is complete in a number of sporting, academic and cultural activities for points. Each year, the winning house receives the best house trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves as it is time to announce the result. Incidentally, there has been a tie between two best performing houses and the winners of the Best House Trophy, Session 2020-21 are Yamuna House and Jhelum House. Kudos to House Warden Yamuna House, Ms. Shivani Ranjan, and House Warden Jhelum House, Mr. Jay Sajdeh, along with House Captain Yamuna House, Nandini Srivastha, and House Captain Jhelum House, O Maditya Pandey, many, many congratulations to all of you. Appreciation is the highest form of wealth. For it acknowledges the presence of God wherever you shine the light of your thankful thoughts, said Alan Pope. With this, we invite our Vice Principal, Mr. Pali Kudesia, to propose the vote of thanks. Good morning, everyone. Although we have come to the end of the investiture ceremony 2021, I would like to tell our children, who are now the leaders of tomorrow, students, your journey to leadership has just begun. Be a role model to someone. Along with every authority comes the responsibility. Balance it well. It's good to feel very important, but it's more important to become a good human being too. With this, I would like to extend my word of thanks to the principal and the management of DPS Sushantlo for their continuous support. My heartiest wishes go to the children of DPS Sushantlo and my sincere thanks to the teachers of DPS Sushantlo for putting this ceremony together. Thank you everyone. May God bless our children. God bless DPS. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your motivating words. Once again, we extend our best wishes to all the newly inducted members who we are sure will have an event with in your and all our friends out there who aspire to be here one day. To them, we say, dream on, because dreams do happen. On that note, we come in this program with the National Anthem. Janagana Mana Adhinayaka Jayahe Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Chala jala dhitaranga Tava shubha naame jage Tava shubha aashish maage 
गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे joining us today and wish you a wonderful day ahead